It's time to work in smiley face counting book one. Get out your book. That's the blue one. And let's look at the first page. You see here that the child just needs to count. They see that it's three, and where there is a three, a smiley face has been drawn. And if the child wants, they can put frownies where it was not the right response. And the next one, the child can count and see that it's five. Where is the numeral for five? It's right here. And that's just barely written in so the child can trace over that and make a smiley. Next, we have one that the child must fill out on their own. Two. Two. Let me point out that each of these books is 20 or 21 pages long. It's not going to take a child very long to finish that, is it? It may take the young children a day or two. The older ones, it may take just a few minutes. But it's been good practice for them. Now, if you're working with some 9, 11-year-olds, you may just have them go through a page or two and do some problems verbally. That's fine. Because our goal is for them to get the concept and understand that those are units. Now, let's move on. How many do I have? One, two, three, four. But what kind is that? It's the tens kind, and I need a way of showing that. We put this zero here. Four with a zero tells us we have four. This tells us it's the tens kind. And we're going to refer to this as four tens. Later, after the child understands that, when they see that, we'll go through and we'll give them some new names. We could also call this 40. We could also call 5 tens 50. And you know what? They've heard those words before. They've used those words before. So now all they're doing is attaching a lot of meaning to some words that were just words that they could say probably in sequence. Now they have meaning. Now we're looking at smiley face counting, book two. What does the child need to do? First of all, they need to understand that these represent 10 bars. And then they just count. One, two, three. Three tens. This one is the way we write three tens, and we see a smiley face. The next problem, one, two, two tens. We write two tens this way, and the smiley face is partially filled in for the student. Now, the next problem they do on their own. One, two, three, four tens, and it's right here. The child fills in the smiley face. Again, we can see how easy it is for the child to be successful.